Greetings, respected professors, researchers, and practitioners of the Interactive Film and Media Conference. The title of this presentation is A Convergence of Theatre, Cinema, Amusement Park, and Video Game Design to Explore Parallel Interactive Narratives in Cinematic Virtual Reality. My name is Delvin Jude Remedius, and this paper is co authored with Professor Deepak John Matthew and Professor Max Schlerzer. Table for Two is a parallel interactive narrative in virtual reality, which we call Pin VR as an abbreviation. This is a creative artifact that adopts screen production inquiry as a practice based research method. The experience pivots around conversations across three tables in a cafe. Each conversation represents unique genres such as romance, supernatural fiction, and drama. These genres are randomly selected to explore the possibility of multiple genres within a common VR environment. Table for Two is filmed with three omnidirectional video cameras where each sequence is a continuous short production. That means there is no cut in Table for Two. DALI uses the term navigator in the context of Cinema 3.0 where the user plays an active role in the narrative. This study borrows the term navigator as it is relevant for parallel interactive narratives in VR. Pin VR encourages the navigator to teleport from one narrative to another while the remaining narratives take place in parallel sequences irrespective of the navigator's presence or absence. Cinematic virtual reality is one of the latest mediums that has challenged cinema and filmmakers to develop new narrative language and grammar suitable for this medium. Ilay et al. addressed this requirement by proposing guidelines that orient the viewer towards intended areas in the VR environment. However, Gabler et al. proposed a query that is pivotal for the conceptualization of tables of two. Should a VR experience give the viewer the freedom to choose his or her viewing direction? Forcing viewers' attention to a specific element restricts immersion, thus contradicts the great potential of VR. Table for Two addresses this limitation by encouraging the navigator to look wherever they desire within the 360-degree VR environment. Jenkins in his books, Convergent Culture, where the old and new media collide, talks about the relationship between media convergence, participatory culture, and collective intelligence. This study applies the term convergence across the mediums of theater, cinema, amusement park, and video game design that have contributed towards shaping Table for Two production. I will now discuss the role of theater performers in parallel interactive narratives in VR. Multiple studies suggest that VR has similarities with theatre and can be considered as a narrative medium alongside theatre. These similarities can be observed in terms of the following. There are lack of cuts and cinematic editing techniques which would enable the performers to act in long takes. Exaggeration in performance is essential to both mediums as most often the viewer or navigator is located at a considerable distance from the performance. Street theatre has more similarities in terms of the unlimited space and the navigator can move around, therefore altering the viewing perspective. Similarly, the 360 degree space of street theatre and CVR has multiple distractions in the environment which invites the navigator to explore the surroundings. For these reasons, the casting talent of Table for Two was selected based on their experience in theatre. Now, the cast were not familiar with uh, VR narratives. However, their experience in theatre aided their performance for long takes, exaggeration, use of space and improvisations. Along with these advantages, Pin VR had unique challenges of being captured simultaneously by multiple 360-degree cameras. This led the cast to be more aware of how their body gestures were viewed from all perspectives. Next, 
I will discuss the adaptation of parallel narratives in cinema to parallel interactive narratives in virtual reality. In this paper, we refer to Linda Aronson's definition of parallel narratives in the context of cinema. She describes it as several separate narratives running in parallel, often involving non-linearity, time jumps, large cars, or all of these. These narrative forms have been increasing in mainstream cinema and are gradually emerging in VR experiences. Aronson describes the various forms of parallel narratives in cinema. This study suggests that Table for Two is a hybrid structure between tandem narrative and multiple protagonist narrative. Tandem narrative refers to equally important stories on the same theme within a film running simultaneously in the same time frame and geographical area and are affected by the same socio-political problem. Each conversation in Table for Two is equally important. The events in the cafe are taking place at the same time and at the same location. Each character is affected in some way by the COVID-19 pandemic which plays a role as the story world. There are seven main characters in the CVR experience, each of which can be considered as a protagonist, depending on the navigator's choices and who they connect with as the main character. Therefore, the experience is also considered a multiple protagonist cinematic virtual reality experience. However, Table for Two can also emerge as a consecutive story if the navigator sits at one table without teleporting throughout the experience, then re-navigates the experience, sits at a second table, followed by re-navigation of the third table. As the casting talent were not familiar with VR experiences, a rotating cylindrical pin VR script display was developed to understand the simultaneity of the parallel narrative scripts. The casting talent uh, recommended that this display should be available during the rehearsals and also available during the set, set of the final shoot for prompt uh, connection with their dialogues. Moving forward to the role of amusement park as an inspiration for the set design of Table for Two. Carson, a show designer for Walt Disney Imagineering, explains that the narrative element is infused into the physical space where a guest walks through. Embedded narratives integrate narrative information within their mise-en-scene. Table for Two represents the embedded narrative structure. The VR environment acts as an information as well as a memory space. The enacted and embedded narrative elements offer interactive flexibility and the coherence of a pre hotted narrative. As Table for Two represents multiple genres, the lighting and props were customized as per the genre. Indian commercial cinema, also known as Bollywood, was selected as the overall theme of the cafe. Popular film posters were displayed as a backdrop. However, the genres of the posters were appropriately placed as a backdrop specific to the genre they were representing. In a conventional cinema, experience, the lighting equipment, reflectors, cameras, etc. are generally accommodated outside the borders of the shooting area. However, in pin VR, the shoot, shooting material is required to be a part of the set as everything is visible by the 360 degree cameras. In this manner, Table for Two as an embedded narrative draws from the spatial creation of amusement parks and portrays the pre author narrative within a story world. Now moving forward to the role of video game designs in the navigation of parallel interactive narratives in VR. This paper describes various perspectives of interactivity being the opposite of narratives. It suggests that in interactive experiences the narrative flows under the guidance of the navigator. Therefore, it is important to design the narrative to encourage interactivity. Most of the events in Table for Two take place as conversations. The lack of cuts, 
use of camera angles and the continuous shot encourages the navigator to look anywhere they desire, thereby inviting navigation. To further complement this aspect, several character dialogues invite the navigator to look at other characters in the cafe. Additionally, the waiter character interacts with all characters in the cafe and is used to invite navigation. In this manner, a variety of design considerations were taken in developing Table for Two, which encouraged navigator teleportation to drive the narrative experience. The navigator not only explores the different narrative spaces, but also explores the different genres. To conclude this presentation, we would like to summarize that theatre has influenced the acting method in Table for Two. Cinema has adopted the parallel narratives to VR experiences. Amusement Park has encouraged infusing the narrative into the set design. Video game design has informed navigator teleportation to drive the narrative. In this manner, each medium has played a significant role in shaping the design of Table for Two. However, Table for Two as a parallel interactive narrative encountered its own unique challenges with acting performance from multiple cameras, customized script writing methods, integrating all the filming material into the set design, and navigation interactivity, which does not alter the outcome of the story world. While this discussion pivots around Table for Two, parallel interactive narratives in VR can also explore a single or multiple genres, any number of parallel storylines, and different methods of interaction. In this study, Table for Two represents an exclusive method for navigator immersion and interaction. The convergence of theater, cinema, amusement park, and video game design has contributed to constructing parallel interactive narratives in VR as a unique experience that explores new possibilities of storytelling in VR. Thank you for listening to the presentation.